In this video, you might be wondering how you go to perform the product of 987 and 654. This comes in terms of looking at three strategies that will be essential for you to successfully perform this particular question. And these three strategies, one really, really long process, another one a little bit short and one really, really fast and easier way will be discussed in separate videos. For this video, we're going to look at the first one, which is a long method where you're going to be staggering some of the results and perform our final step, which is do addition. So in total, all these are a combination of two things. This requires the following. We need to combine two operations in order for we to successfully achieve this particular result. One operation is known as what? Multiplication. And the other one is what? We are going to perform addition. And so these are the two essential operations that will be important for we to be able to accomplish the same result but three strategies. So let's look at the first strategy in this particular video. Now what we recognize is that this here is known as a 3 by 3 multiplication. And what does that mean? This means that we have three digits that we're going to multiply by three digits and this is going to be important because we are going to be having expectations for this particular process and these expectations include the following for the first particular strategy we need to recognize that yes we are going to be placing our digits of the numbers alongside their respective place values so in this case 987 is going to come up first and then this which is we assigned to be our first number is going to be multiplied by the second number which is 654 and we're going to place 4 right below your 7 and next is we're going to place our 5 below our 8 and finally we're going to place our 6 below our 9 that is really important to recognize and so once we draw our line we are now going to perform the next step which is multiplying the following we are going to use our second numbers digits going from right to left one digit at a time to multiply the digits in the first number and what does that look like that means for example our four here we're going to multiply it by seven and we know that this will give us what 28 now the next step is to remember that our 8 which is the ones place value is going to be placed right below your 4 underneath the blue line and so we're going to put our 8 down and we're going to move our other place values or before your ones to the next place value on the first one so in this case we're going to perform this here addition of 2 to the next multiplication result and so what that means is that our 4 is going to be multiplied by our 8 and that gives us what that gives us 32 and in this case here we know that since we have 32 we're going to add 2 to 32 and what that gives us is a result which is 34 this new number is what we're going to play around with it at the bottom here which means that our 4 is going to be placed which is our 1's as the result here and once you place your 4 the other number that is before 4 which is 3 is going to be added to the result of the product of our 4 and 9 and so 4 times 9 gives us what that gives us 36 and so once we have 36 we're going to add 3 to 36 and this gives us what that gives us 39 and so once we have this established we are going to put down our what 9 and 3 down because there's no more digit that is before 9 at this other side here for our first number and so once we have that done 
we are going to do the same process with our 5 which is the next higher place value and this is going to be necessary because we know that since we're starting with 5 we are going to start putting our result right below the 5 so a good way to avoid mistakes is by either putting a 0 below 8 or you just put a dot so either ways that really works well for accomplishing this strategy after this everything else is the same so we have 5 times 7 that gives us what 35 and that means we're going to place our 5 uh, under our 4 which is our 1's and then the remaining digits before 5 which is in this case 3 we're going to add it to the result of the product which is 5 times 8 which gives us 40 40 plus 3 gives us 43 we put our 3 as our 1's down right below your 9 and then what you do is your 4 you add it to the product of your 5 and 9 and that in this case 5 times 9 gives us 45 45 plus 4 which is here that gives us what 49 and 49 since there is no other digit that is before your 9 for this number we are going to just put down 49 9 below your 3 and then 4 that is out and next and finally is we're going to focus on our 6 and remember that since we're starting our 6 we're going to start putting our numbers right below your 6 and work your way to the left and this here implies that we need to be able to be conscious of our spacing which means that we're going to add a 0 and a 0 that is below your 8 and below your 5 and then we can begin therefore 6 times 7 that gives us what we gives us 42 in this case we have 42 2 is our ones which means we're going to put our 2 right below your 3 and they are going to add 4 to the product of what 6 times 8 and so since we have these we are going to multiply 6 by 8 and that gives us what 48 and since we have 48 we're going to remember to add 4 to it and that gives us what 52 and what we do is since 2 is our ones we put that right below your 9 and what you do is your 5 you add it to the product of what 6 and 9 and so once we multiply 6 by 9 what that gives us is what 54 and once you have 54 we add 5 to 8 and that gives us what 59 and since that is 8 for any digit that is before 9 that means we're going to add our 9 first below our 4 and then 5 that is outside and therefore once we have this accomplished we have accomplished the multiplication stage which is what we addressed right over here and then the final stage is called addition and what we're going to do is we're going to draw another line right below the final result multiplication digit remember that this line or this rule is dedicated for the product of 4 this rule is dedicated for the result of 5 and this rule here is dedicated for the product of 6 and once you have this we are now going to add all this together so 8 plus 0 0 that gives us what 8 next is the tens we have 4 plus 5 plus 0 that gives us what 9 next is for the hundreds we have 9 plus 3 plus 2 that gives us what 14 remember you put your 4 down for our 1's and you add 1 to the result of this addition in this case 3 plus 9 plus 2 that gives us 14 plus 1 that gives us 15 you put your 1's which is 5 down and you add 1 to the result of the addition on the next place value which is the 10 
thousands and so in this case we're going to have 4 plus 9 that gives us what 13 plus 1 that gives us 14 you put your 4 down which is our ones and we add 1 to the next place value which is in this case our hundred thousands and we have 5 plus 1 that gives us 6 and this is our final answer to this particular question quite a long process but it is actually worth being careful and also be aware of every single number and multiplication and addition results because everything counts towards the final answer these limitations here is that there are multiple steps to keep in mind and you're dealing with some big numbers and big additions that means that you need to be aware of potential mistakes that are going to be happening while you're doing this also other recognition is in terms of this staggered process by shifting to the next place value right below it this other challenge that some students might face when performing this operation and on our next video we're going to look at how this method here is going to be quite different from our next method which is going to be a little bit more simplistic and structured i hope you found this really informative hit the comment down below let me hear your thought about this I hope you found this really informative. This is applicable to all forms of digits when it comes to either three digits, two digits, one digit multiplication, or more than three digits multiplication. All the same, stay smart as always and believe in yourselves.